VLP, Veterans Leadership Program of Western Pennsylvania. This is a little tiny, small agency over here on the south side. We're competing with the big agencies. And I think one reason is because we're passionate, because we care about our mission. The mission, provide housing, employment, and other vital support services to veterans and their families to ensure self-sufficiency and a better, more deserving quality of life. My name is Ron Wilkes. I'm a veteran of the United States Army, honorably discharged in 76, and I came through uh, the Veterans Homeless Program in 2006. You can come down here to check on job search, programs, education, uh, you name it. VLP assists Vietnam Vet Wilkes and hundreds of other vets on a daily basis. Housing, everything. Hospitalization, you name it. They assisted in furniture, everything. The entire man they, they catered to. This place is a, a place for, where veterans can come for service. They can come for help. When a veteran comes into our door, they meet Sorry. Mary Evans. Good morning, how Mary are you? Mary has a smiling face for everybody that comes in here. She welcomes them. She makes them feel at home. We help veterans to become self-sufficient. Uh, we aid them during their crisis, aiding them to uh, find employment and housing. We also sometimes give them bus tickets uh, or bus passes. So one of the things we want to talk about again is achievement. Achievement not only A committed agency, staff dedicated to treating clients not as a group but as individuals and the bulletin board is filled with thank yous. Dear VLP staff, as I sat in my apartment, I looked around and I cried. I know you folks are doing your jobs, not just doing your jobs because it takes more than book knowledge to do the job you do. You honestly care. One caring event after another, but VLP's signature event is their annual tribute to veterans at the Carnegie in Oakland. I pledge allegiance. Can I get a VLP hua? Hua! Pace School in Churchill. This is Pace School. Pace School is a placement option for students with autism or emotional disturbance. Um, it's a placement option for school districts to send their kids here, and the kids come here from all over the region. We are trying to help students break through the social and emotional barriers to school success, and we're a full partial hospital program, which essentially means that all of the students who come here have to qualify for mental health services. Take a look at some of our pictures. Our kids come here, and very often they've been the bad kid in school. When they come here, they're in a place where they're accepted for who they are. Like 10-year-old Tyler Weber of Plum, diagnosed with Asperger's, ADHD, and Tourette's. They're very nice, and they really like me coming here and stuff. Quiet. Mm -hmm. All right, our first one is? Stop. This one is we got here. No yelling. No yelling. Our next one is when we got two staff talking or two kids talking. This private, nonprofit pace school offers the sanctuary model, where each child gets individualized, focused attention by numerous experts in the classroom. Along with mainstream, broad subjects, there's a focus on the arts, hands-on, and life skills. You would never know that our kids have special needs. They look like other kids. Um, they're pretty challenging needs, but they're fairly well hidden and we want to honor them by providing them with the most natural school environment that we can. Our mission is to provide educational therapeutic services that enable any child to thrive. Students come here an average of two years behind grade level when they arrive and we know that in any given year 65 percent of them have reached their grade level or are making significant progress towards reaching their grade level. PACE has been highly honored over the years for its success, but the most satisfaction comes from PACE parents, like Tyler's mom, Colleen. They do it all, and he has come such a long way that I, I can't say enough good things about PACE school. I, mean, I really don't know where we'd be without PACE. PACE I mean, he's um, succeeded so well in the three years that he's been here. I, I really don't know where he'd be or, you know, 
how much more stressed out we would be if we didn't have Pace. The YMCA of Greater Pittsburgh. Encompasses 16 branches and two camps, a family camp and a residential camp. The YMCA of Greater Pittsburgh is not just swim and gym. Our history, and we're very proud of that history, has been physical education and we continue to be a leader in that area. But we do so many other things. Uh, from child care, which we have over 44 after school sites with the largest provider of after school child care in the region. We also do um, drug and alcohol rehab. We have housing for men. Uh, so we're, we're a very diverse organization uh, serving the needs of the overall community. If a community like Hazelwood needs a food bank, the Y is that provider. Serving the wider community through a unique staff volunteer partnership. The volunteers are really amazing. They're dedicated and they really believe in the mission of the YMCA and they believe that they can make a difference in children's and families' lives and ultimately in the communities that we serve. I just graduated college. I kind of always wanted to spend some time off, you know, serving the community, doing something meaningful. Without the YMCA, I would be stuck as to where my kids would have gone after school and for summer camp. It's a wonderful place and it's definitely helped my kids socially. I love it. I'd recommend it to anybody. Helping children grow, engaging families, health and wellness, those are critical issues that are right here in our community. And so we have years and years of opportunity to grow, but we're not done yet. We build strong kids, strong families, and strong communities. And we believe that we are, we are a part, an integral part, to making that happen for the greater Pittsburgh Y, the greater Pittsburgh community. Hey!